Hello! Today we are reviewing and comparing to with the Tati Beauty sponges. I am so freaking stoked about this. You have no idea. I have been waiting for this to come in the mail for days now. We are comparing this side of the face with the Tati Beauty sponge, first time using it. And I also have a brand new sponge um, right out of the package and I wet this down and I'm using it on the side of the face with brushes to apply the powders and yeah. stuff Today is gonna be kind of like a review and a demo as well as a comparison. I figured I'd knock them all out one one uh, One video knock it all out t -t -t Today junior <laughs> You know if you want to see how the Tati beauty sponge works and how it applies makeup as well as a comparison to a beauty blender that I use just keep watching, baby. Dude, I just tried doing like a beauty guru transition saying, I don't know, man, it just feels staged. Keep watching if you enjoy this kind of thing. Go Tati. So first off, this was literally stuck in my mailbox and would not come out. I will insert footage here. Exactly like she had said that it would in this cute little package. So here they are. This is the larger one. And this one is very bendable, like other people have mentioned, and it's so stinking soft. There's a definite difference between how hard the teenier one, the tinier one is. Um, oh yeah. It just feels like you're pressing your finger against your face, kinda. Okay, this one feels like a pillow. Okay. This one's harder. There you go. I do have a brand new beauty sponge. I'm going to go get this wet. I'm back and it's wet. Use my foundation. It's a liquid one. This is the Maybelline uh, 24 hour, the Milani baked blush, the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Powder, Wet n Wild Concealer, Precious Petals <laughs> Highlighter, Bronze Butter by Physicians Formula in the lightest shade because I have not self-tanned. That means we're gonna be able to see how, just how well each of these cover because I am using a full coverage foundation. However, you still get those, like this area on me is very problematic. Just so you know, I did put my primer on with my hands. Usually I dip my beauty blender into the foundation. So I'm gonna do that. And I am going to use the same method of bouncing um, with the Tati sponge as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go at it with this tip as the foundation area, just because that I feel like will have the most control and that's what I'm gonna care the most uh, for distributing the product all over my face. I won't care as much about the highlighter and everything like that, I can use any which way. But this I wanna use for the wet foundation. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, yeah, this definitely um, does not pick up or take off as much foundation as the Beauty Blender does. So I think I'm actually gonna take the, the mini one for my highlighter underneath my eye. Cause it's supposed to be on the go, but it's mine. I can do what I want with it. Wow. Okay, so right off the bat, I have more coverage on the Tati Beauty side and I am liking it. It blends in well. It doesn't leave like weird little marks. Um, I do have to pay a little bit more attention to my nose than I do, than I would with the Beauty Blender, I feel like. So you can kind of tell that this side has more coverage than the Beauty Blender side. You can still see these scars peeking through. And this covered this pretty well, which is a massive problem. <laughs> And um, even on this side, I do have some more scarring like this just around my cheeks and that's covered. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer and just do a few dots on each side. Um, and honestly, that's really, I don't do a lot of concealer. So 
so very few people are in love with it. And I'm gonna do the tiny blend up bowl and tip again. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, same, same scenario there. It, it definitely left a lot of the product. And I'm just gonna go in with this really quick on the other side. Okay, so here is the concealer all blended out underneath my eye. Um, the only difference that I can tell is that you really can't, with this end of the brush that I'm using in particular, you can get very close like to the lash line, to a T. And this one, you kind of have to, it's missing almost a whole strip of eye underneath right here. So you can't get as close to the lash line as you can with a beauty blender. Um, and I feel like it honestly would have been just more difficult with the larger one. So that's the only thing. It did leave more product on just like the foundation. So that means more coverage, which is good in my book. It blends out pretty nice and evenly throughout. Like it, I was worried I was gonna have like big dots of my fingerprint pretty much on my face and there's none of that. So it blends out very nice and it keeps a lot of the coverage, which is also great. Um, I will mention though that it does take like almost double the amount of time as a beauty blender if you do the stapling motion. Yeah, I feel like tapping would be the mes best method um, because swiping, I don't know, it's just bad for your skin, okay? Think about your aging, ladies. Okay, so next in line, I am going to do my powder, which this is it. She's loved, honey, she's loved. And I'm just gonna go in with this top side. Now I feel like this is just gonna work. I mean, it should. Gosh, I love how soft that is. It literally just feels like a pillow is pouncing on your face. And I'm just gonna do quickly. I'm using a regular Kabuki brush and I'm kind of dusting it. So this is my face after powder. Okay, I was gonna say that maybe my pores are just worse on this side. Let's be real, they're not. My face, the pores are just the same. And I noticed with the Tati, you don't, my pores are just covered more. It's more cover, full coverage on the side and it's not taking away as much product. But this side, you can definitely see the pores more, which boggles my mind. All right, now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. Like I said, I'm using the Butter Bronzer. I'm just gonna quickly do this side of the face. So now I'm gonna kind of use the flat edge that was left between the um, between the wet foundation and the powder for the bronzer. So I'm gonna grab it like right here. So I feel like a flat edge. Yeah, I feel like a flat. Oof. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really scared of. So I'm gonna dab it off a little bit because um, I feel like a flat edge would be good for contouring. So. Wow, okay. My new favorite thing for... Wow, it just looks like it's there and you turn it and it's like, whoa, it's not there, but then you turn and you can see this. This is bomb. Okay, now let's do the forehead. Now let's go into the hairline. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this for fucking bronzing. and then we'll slowly work our way down. Yeah, this literally just like, looks so much better in the hairline than a brush does. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milani blush that I had shown. I love blush, even though I'm the palest person in the world. So I'm not gonna dab this off. I'm just gonna go straight on. I'm kinda nervous. Oh my God, okay, no. And I'm just gonna go in with a brush like this. I love using my face as my palm. The other beauty gurus are shaking. Okay. Also, don't judge the amount of blush that I just put on. It could be viewed as a lot. Okay, so for blush, let me tell you. Dude, it just looks so seamless. Like you, you can just tell the difference between the two and without even trying on this side, it's just blended. Like it just looks so much freaking better. Wow. Tati Beauty. What the heck? 
Now I'm gonna go in with just this brush and do my side of the face. Um, I do like a highlight. I am going to use this flat, like in the middle area, for my highlight. Oh yeah, look at how good that picked up. So that is convenient. I'm not gonna freaking take any off because a girl likes highlight. Okay, so I feel like with this, I don't know if I was just being cautious taking, you could definitely go in more, especially if you're a chick that likes highlight like me. Wow, okay, just a little bit there. Wow, it just blends together so freaking nice. Crazy. Okay, so year in thought, baby. The end of the game. What do I think about the Tati? Blendiful. Could do without this one. Um, definitely, like she said, do think it's it will be great for touch-ups. Um, as far as applying concealer and stuff like this, it's nice because it's smaller, but it does feel like literally your finger is just poking you in the eyeball or face. So I do like this for on the go, like she had mentioned. I think it will work great. But this. This beauty. I am so stoked about this. You have no idea. And she says you can easily wash it, which I would assume would last longer, longer than than a beauty blender. So it's more eco-friendly. You only get one thing of packaging and you just continue to wash rather than one of these every couple months, you know? Waste of plastic. So that's nice. And I like that she's very simple about her packaging as well. It's better for the environment. I do like that. So I do like that and I like that she is a vegan company. I think that's freaking awesome. Yeah, final thoughts is I am absolutely in love with this. I do believe it's better. It does take more time, which um, for the payoff it gives, I feel like it's worth it. Spend the extra time. You can put the same amount of product, let's use blush for an example, on the brush and on here. And for some reason, it just, it holds it and it almost allows you to disperse it where you want to. Whereas a brush, you really just put the product down and then you're like, okay, now I gotta move the product because it's, but it just almost like holds it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so excited to watch her video of like the technology behind this thing, her thought process, um, because I'm very, mindful of that stuff, I guess. I like hearing about it. I'm gonna take the few extra minutes when doing my makeup and just use this because it just makes your, it, literally the name could not be any better, Blendiful. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited I bought this on a whim. I was just like, I could afford $20, but I can't afford 50 for the palette. Blendiful is a wrap, baby. I'm obsessed with it, you need it. It's definitely worth $18 and just because you can reuse it multiple times too, you can throw this in the washer or you can do it by hand. Like that boggles my mind. She said it dries really quick too. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And join my little family. We're slowly growing. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you. It's the hot girl bummer anthem. Turn it up or throw a tantrum. Oh my gosh, has anybody been watching the Aaron Hernandez documentary? I listened to a podcast like a year ago about it and it's just so much better like don't get me wrong love podcasts for work but like watching it all go down on those cameras and stuff you just can't beat that you just can't this is how long i've been on youtube this is a revlon color stay stain super it's literally worn off so much but they use a rave about this stuff these are so good it's little cucumbers with whipped cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning trouble this is my first time eating it and i'm like okay i could do this every day 